Hello, everyone, and welcome to episode nine of Knowing Service Now. My name is Neil Laufenberg, and I realized after last episode that I started delving into the concept of business service management without kind of giving you some basic overview about business service management. So the topic for today's episode will be uh, an introduction to business service management in the system, uh, as well as how it's leveraged um, in the, B the BSM module. So business services along with business service management today. So to get to the business services component of ServiceNow, uh, you can go to the configuration database, so config. And we're going to go look at business services. So out of the box, there are a number of business services that are already out here. Um, you can see some of the fields that are available for your use. The name, obviously pretty straightforward. Uh, business criticality helps you understand uh, the servers that are related to this business service or the devices that are related to this business service, uh, how important they are to the organization, who it's managed by, useful in contacting uh, escalations, who it's owned by, again, useful in contact escalations, perhaps in root cause analysis. Uh, approval group is used by or can be used by the change management um, the change management engine to provide approvals based on this business service. Um, and then you can provide additional information about statuses and locations, etc. So let's look at one in a little more detail. So again, same information here. Criticality, it's an uh, environment that it's used for. Um, you can see under here there's things like production, staging, QA. We, we uh, in my organizations in the past, have called that our environment, so to speak. Um, it's operational status, approval group, who manages it, what the SLA times are, locations, etc. So a lot of useful information in here. A lot of these are related to other tables in the system. So like you know the approval groups that are in the system, obviously, the support groups that are in the system, obviously, uh, individual people who manage it, the uh, SLA definitions that are out there. So if you have a, a defined SLA a definition, you can associate it, uh, and its location if that matters to your organization. So basic information up top and then down below is where you start getting into the the real meat of a business service so down here this is a pre-configured business service that was already in the system and you can see it has a number of relationship types that are in the system already so it has things like depends on business service so that's saying that this blackberry service depends upon the email service for it to function and if you then look at the bsm view which is this button right here you can begin to see those relationships, right? So email depends on BlackBerry, et cetera. Actually, I'm sorry, the other way around, BlackBerry depends on email. So there's, other, there's multiple kinds of relationships that exist in the system. Um, many of them have different effects on how they get um, entered and tracked. Um, but to set up a new uh, relationship to the business service, the easiest thing to do is hit the little plus button here and you'll pick the kind of relationship that you want. Now it can get a bit confusing in here because there aren't the best descriptions around these so you really need to play with them and understand um, what it is that your organization is using. So the most common one for me is to use the depends on and used by um, uh, relationship type. So let me click on depends on so you can see that. So, so there's a pre can filter on here that you can play with to, to get that the CIs you want. But basically what this is saying is if I add another item to this relationship, it's going to make the BlackBerry service depend on that service. So again, email, it depends on email and it depends on Insight New York 3. So if I add on Annie IBM here, oops, wrong one, but I'll add two. And I apply that and I hit OK. I'll go out here and those are one of the, or sorry, those are computers. So Carol and Annie got added here and again if you go back to the BSM view you can see that the BlackBerry service now depends upon those items as well. So you can very quickly build out some visual relationships here around uh, your environment and to help your support staff more specifically. Um, and again the concepts I covered in the last video around alerting uh, and existing um, uh, incidents in the system all carry forward to this. Now, this can happen uh, in both directions, so to speak. So in this case, I'm on the business service, and I am adding related items to it. Now, if I'm on an item, so let's say I want to go and I look at, uh, I'll go with Annie IBM, that's fine. We wouldn't obviously re relate a workstation here necessarily to a business service. But you can see that um, the, this computer is already related to a number of business services based on the previous screen. But we can add another one here. So again, note that this is a used by relationship. So this computer is used by something if you select that relationship type. And that's what I will select here, used by. 
and again you get a list of business services so we could add this system to this other business service called retail apply it and hit OK and now you can see there's another piece here around retail so if I look at this business service the BSM view again you can see that Annie IBM is depended on by both BlackBerry and retail so again, you can do focus and redraw here to help you out and navigate the system. And you can kind of get down to the details about what you care about as you're going through. And you can see Carol and, and Annie are on here because I added them before to the BlackBerry service. So really useful way for gathering up kind of visual cues. Um, I find that the system works so well, it's easy to just kind of start introducing this concept in without necessarily having a huge um, go live effort. Um, we had a lot of, uh, in previous life, uh, we had a lot of uh, applications, what we called them previously. We just kind of converted those to business services and, and we're really up and running very quickly. So a lot of this depends on what kind of information that you might have available um, already in your current system or as you move to deploy um, the service now from the, from the get-go. Um, a few other things that might be useful here. Um, there's a split view that can show you upstream and downstream items. Um, you can look at it in a tree view or a list view, depending on how you like that. Um, pretty straightforward. Again, the BSM view that I clicked on there already. And you can show multiple levels too, right? So you can show further levels up and further levels down uh, as necessary to help you. In this case, there's no more levels down. But um, if we were higher, higher up in a tree, you could see multiple levels. Um, that is kind of the basics of business services. Um, again, business services as a concept can be extended much further beyond this. Um, you can do things around tracking and auditing and, and um, uh, if, if you really get into it, things like uh, event suppression or incident suppression downstream based on upstream items. So it's a very powerful tool, but it is very simple to get started with. And I would encourage anybody who's looking at this, just take a look at the system, pick out those key relationships you care about and kind of start with those and then grow out from there. You can also create your own relationship type. So it's a very robust system, but start small and kind of grow into it. That's kind of the, the service now mantra, as it were. Just small bites, take things that you can manage and, and move forward. Um, all right, that's all I have for business services for today. If you have any questions or comments, please post them in the video. Uh, give me a thumbs up if this was valuable. So feel free to subscribe for future video content, and I appreciate your time. Thanks.